Hello everyone, let's start with third part of question number one, exercise 2.4 NCRT example. So again in this case, we need to find a quadratic polynomial whose sum and product is given to us. So S is given and product is given. So sum of zeros is minus 2 under root 3, that is alpha plus beta equals minus 2 under root 3 and we are given with alpha dot beta that is product as minus 9. Now we know that a polynomial can be written in the form of x square minus alpha plus beta x plus alpha dot beta that is product. So now x square minus alpha plus beta is minus 2 under root 3 x plus plus alpha dot beta but alpha dot beta is minus 9 so it will be minus 9 at the end. So we are we get the quadratic polynomial as x square plus 2 under root 3 x minus 9. So this is the polynomial we get fx equal x square plus 2 under root 3 x minus 9. Now we need to find the zeros of these polynomials by factorization method. So what we need to do is we need to take 9 and factorize it with respect to the middle term. So what we can do is we can write 9 as 3 into 3 and now you can see that it is in the form of under root 3. So I will factorize 3 more and will write in the form of under root 3 into under root 3. So what we get is 3 under root 3 and under root 3. So middle term splitting can be written as x square plus 3 under root 3 minus under root 3 x minus 9. Now what we can take common from the first two is x and we are left with x plus 3 under root 3 and from the last two terms we can take common is under root 3 and we are left with x plus 3 under root 3. So now we have two zeros here that is x plus 3 under root 3 equals 0 and another is x minus under root 3 equals 0. So the first one is x equal minus 3 under root 3 and another is x equal under root 3. So these are my two zeros from equation x square plus 2 under root 3x minus 9. So thank you for watching this video. Have a great day.